So this is what you're seeing here is Reddit. Um, and the reason you're seeing Reddit is because the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Reddit AMAs. But, I mean, you don't necessarily need to go to Reddit to have one. And AMA is Ask Me Anything. And basically, it's a writer who's on Skype. And then people call in or people, you know, it's live streamed where uh, people can ask you anything about your work, your book. Basically, they can ask you anything, and it's actually a very big thing now for writers to do this. I mean, if you look at the celebrity writers are doing it, um, Christopher Moore, probably a lot of others, um, this is the biggest thing now, okay? Because people love to watch it, they love to interact with you, and I'm pretty sure if you just put your mind to it, you could probably set up one of your own without Reddit help and uh, put it on your author's page. You know, live stream it on your author's page if you know how to do that. And that will get you pretty, you know, a lot of a lot of followers you wouldn't normally have had. Plus, you can always have another one, you know, in six months or something. So that's actually a good idea for promotion. Everybody now uh, is into the AMAs. Um, okay. What else have we got for you today? Bad reviews. I want to talk to you about bad reviews, okay? Lots of writers get bad reviews and you get your, you get your first bad review and you're just, you're destroyed. And you're like, for weeks you're like, but, uh, you know, that's that one thing in that chapter that they didn't like and I, you know, I busted my butt on this for years. But listen to me. Sometimes a bad review is real but most of the time it's just trolls you have trolls on Facebook and it doesn't bother you but there are also people who will actually purchase your book read it the whole way through just to give you an educated bad review there literally are thousands and thousands of people like that so you can't let a bad review you know go to your heart you can't take that personally um what else do we have here anyway a bad review means somebody bought it Right? They bought it, they read it, so that's that's good. You're going to pocket the money anyway. And some people will leave a bad review without even reading the book. So, you know, that's just what they do for fun. And they wouldn't say it to your face because they only can be bullies on the internet because they have no life. 